Hey everybody, this is Max from MaxDancePhotography.com and this is another blog for uh, Lightroom Develop Module. This is going to be on uh, not general corrections but specific ones. Things that we can do to little parts of the picture, not the whole picture. So this is part two of, a, uh, of the Develop Module. I'm sorry I'm a little bit behind. I had uh, computer problems. My MacBook kind of died on me. Uh, so I had to get another computer, and it's taken me a little bit to get all that all set up. Uh, good news, though, the Apple is going to fix my MacBook for free, so uh, that should be back in a week or so. So uh, anyway, let's get started. Uh, you can find my blog on my website, maxdancephotography.com. Just come to the blog tag, click on it, and like magic, there it comes. All right, so there was Develop Module Part 1, and now we're going to do Develop Module Part 2. All right, let's go to Lightroom. All right, we're in Lightroom in the, the Develop Module. <clears throat> and I have a uh, portrait of a young gentleman I took uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, this is a raw, raw file right here. I haven't done anything to it. It's the way it came out of the camera. And uh, we're going to go go ahead and, and do some stuff to it. I want to do all my basic tango stuff first. So this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and the color corrections. Uh, I want to make sure these two things are, are ticked. Uh, I'm going to come up and uh, it says it was shot at 6,000. I want to make sure that that's kind of close. Get some gray 5700. I'm just going to drop that to daylight because I know I was using lights. That's pretty close to daylight. I'm going to hit the auto button, which overdoes a lot of stuff. And there I am. I mean, I can, I can, I can bring up shadows. And I can do all kinds of stuff, but I'm pretty much going to uh, leave that. Let's uh, let's start. We're basically we're going to be on this top line today going through uh, each each one <clears throat> some of them will be in more detail than the others uh, first the crop tool I want to go ahead and crop this photograph and uh, so I want to pull down I want his eyes right there in in those crosshairs and I'm just going to get rid of some of his shirt here let's see uh, let me get a little bit more head space there we go so there we go. That's pretty much going to be my crop. I'm just going to hit done. I went over to crop tool earlier in another uh, video. Let me get that back down to regular air. Okay. Let me hit the auto button again since I've re-cropped. Bring that back down. Remember, if you double click on these little doodads here, they uh, they go back to center. So they go back to zero where they were before. <clears throat> so looking at this picture, uh, I can see that I'm kind of underexposed under here, and his mouth is kind of dark, and we're going to try to lighten some of that up. Uh, this is this is not the final. I actually used another photograph for his headshot, but this one had a little bit more mistakes in it. And <clears throat> excuse me. And that's what I wanted to use to uh, to show you how to use all all the tools here. So uh, this is a portrait. I like. Uh, let's see. We've already cropped. Uh, this is the heel and spot removal tool if i click on it it'll come up and it'll say clone or heel when you clone something you take a copy a direct copy of something else uh, so if i you know what let's uh let's do something weird here so i'm going to clone this and notice how i've made his eye <laughs> He's got two left eyes now. So uh, let's uh, delete that. Let's, uh, let's clone here. And let's give him a third eye. So now he's got a third eye. So that's a direct clone. So it just, it just copies. Let's delete that. Okay. I'm going to uh, stop this for a second. I'm going to... Uh, He's a young man. He's got a couple of little blemishes here, and we're going to get rid of them. And this is what I would normally do for portraits. 
and uh, just to clean them up a little bit because nobody wants to see all those things. I'm going to have this on the heel tool. The heel tool looks for the same kind of uh, texture that you have. And sometimes it does a good job and sometimes it don't. But here, here we go. Look, it, see, it tried to find another blemish the same way. But I don't want to blemish. I'm just going to move that over a little bit. And now that one's gone. And you want to make your uh, the area that you do as small as possible. So uh, it doesn't affect much of your photograph. So here, this one, this is a big one here. And notice how it got into that hair. And that little hair is going to show up there. But if I move this over just a little bit, the hair doesn't show up. And we've, oops, and we've got rid of that. And there's a little one right there. Let's see. Boom, it's got rid of that. So I'm going to click done. So you can see how this is done. It's, it's really just a click, and it'll find a spot. Uh, you want to be careful. You know, people that have natural moles and stuff, you don't want to remove those. But little blemishes and little little zit, zitty areas you want to get rid of. So, uh, so there we go. I'm going to hit done, and we can uh, zoom back out, and I can hit the Y button, and I can get a before and after, and you can see he's got the blemishes here, and now I've just removed the blemishes. All right. <clears throat> so that's the. And this can be used, oh, let's get rid of this hair here. It's kind of bugging me. So we can come up here with this tool, and we can, hopefully, this will work out pretty good. We can just come through here like this. And, let's see, it tried to find a spot, but if I, this is not going to work out good. This is going to be, more of a clone, a Photoshop type thing. But you can see how you could get a stray hair or something that's just poking out. You can go to it. And if, you, if I move this around enough, I could probably get it to match up pretty good. There we go. Let's done with that. So there. So now we fixed his hair. So let me hit the uh, Y button before and after. So we got rid of that hair. And you don't see all the and so that, that worked out pretty good. Sometimes you got to play with it a little bit, but you can get it. So anyway, that's the spot and heel tool. We have a uh, red eye reduction. Now, he doesn't have any red eye, but if you had the red eye reduction tool, you could just click on this and click on the eye, and it would fix any. And you can also do it with pets. It does it with pets and uh, red eye. So that, that's a tool I don't use too much. So I'm just going to, you can uh, double click. Oh, well, evidently not. Okay, you can double click and it closes it. All right, I'm going to uh, do a graduated filter. I'm going to use another photo for this. Uh, let's see. Let me get over here. What's in here? There we go. There goes a good photo right there. So in this photo, I have already, oops, jumped on me. In this photo, I have already did some corrections. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's get to the, back to the develop module. I'm here in develop module. I'm going, just going to go ahead and uh, reset everything. So that's the way the picture looked originally. I exposed for the sky because I wanted to get the good sky, but all this turned real dark. So I'm just going to quickly come up here and hit the auto button and let it fill in some of that. And uh, it's really not. There we go. We're going to fill in some. We're going to bring some shadows up. So now we've got this, but this is a little bit lighter than I wanted it to, to be. So now I can take this grad. This is a, a gradient, like a neutral density filter, gradient, grad, graduated filter, and. Uh, I can come up here and uh, I can select exposure in this little block right here. And then I can pull it down and it turns red where it's affecting the photograph. But I want to darken it up a little bit and we hit done. And that has darkened it up quite a bit. And so now we can hit Y 
and get the before and after. So you can see that I've got the sky almost the same by using that graduated filter. Without that graduated filter, the sky was a little bit too light for my liking. So that made it look a little bit better. And that was more of what, what I saw when I was taking the picture. Uh, now, this is a, a great filter. You can come up from the bottom. You can come up from the top. Uh, you can come from the sides if it's too light on one side. So you can use this to do lots of stuff. And if you notice, when this filter comes up, there's lots of other stuff you can do to it. You can crank up the contrast in here. You can do lots of stuff. Let me click on this little little ball here. And so uh, if I want to crank up the contrast, I could crank up the contrast. I could uh, darken up the blacks, make it a little bit darker. And uh, you can see what that's done to it. So that's made it a whole lot more dramatic if I hit the Y button. So now it's a lot more dramatic than it was before. So you can do lots of stuff within this filter. It's not just darkening or lightening. You can, you can do lots of stuff in it. So, uh, so that's the uh, gradient, gradient filter. Uh, let's see. Let's get back to my portrait I was working on. Uh, let's see. The portrait was, uh, I think, in here. Yep. So uh, get back to develop module. We got a before and after. I'm going to go ahead and hit that Y button. We fixed his hair, took a couple of blemishes away. Uh, so there we are, but I still got some more stuff I want to do to this photograph. Uh, this is my radial. Let's see if I can get it to highlight there. Radial filter. Radial filter. There you go. And uh, there goes a shortcut for it. Shift M if that's what you wanted to use. But uh, I use this mainly just to uh, to uh, put a, a vignette on it by holding the uh, command and double clicking while you're in there. You can use this filter, and I can. Uh, you see, I got exposure. I want to drop the exposure a little bit, so I want to darken the edges. And if you look over in your uh, navigator pane, you can see what I'm doing here. I know it's all kind of red in the middle, but on the left, you can see how I'm darkening up that. Just bringing us into that picture a little bit. I hit done. And so that's darkened it up just a little bit on the edges to kind of draw us into his face. Uh, I do like using that on portraits, but I don't like really hard. Just I like the subtle of it. All right, so we've, uh, we've got all that stuff done. Uh, let's go to this last one, which is all your brushes. Now this is where you really got control. You can highlight. You can do all kinds of stuff here. And uh, so we're going to start messing with uh, a few things here. Things I like to do on portraits. So I'm going to hit done here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let that pop in there. And his eyes. I always like to fix the eyes a little bit on like headshots. Stuff where, you know, there's a main character in here. And so I'm going to, where it says exposure here, I'm going to come down here to where it says uh, iris enhance. And what iris enhance does, is it increases the saturation. It uh, boosts a little clarity in there and it pops the exposure up just a hair. And we can do it just to those eyes so they just pop a little bit more. So I'm going to click there and you can see what it's done on the red. I'm going to click there, and done. And to me, that that sharpens up those eyes just ever so slightly and kind of draws you into the eyes. Uh, you can tell I was using a real uh, shallow depth of field because the tip of his nose is out of focus, his ears are out of focus, but his eyes are, are pretty sharp. All righty. And now we have, uh, let me uh, back out of here. We do have kind of a dark area here, and uh, I'm going to try to lighten this up a little bit using the uh, using the uh, brush here. So I'm going to click on the brush. I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to go to Dodge, which is light and lighten, and I'm just going to kind of drag just a little bit, just to lighten that up, just a hair. Done. And if we go to Y, and this didn't do it much, just a little bit. 
just a hair of lightning there. So that just brightened it up. It was a little dark kind of up under here. It kind of brightened that up a little bit. So I kind of like that. Let's see. Uh, and uh, let me click on that. So you can see where I lightened it up a little bit. I'm going to go in here. I want to clean his teeth up. I, I do that on a lot of photographs also. So let me... Uh, Let's click in here and get close up to those teeth. And we're going to do stuff the dentist wish he could do this quick. Teeth whitening. And this is teeth whitening. And I'm just going to make my brush a little smaller. I'm just going to drag across here. And it gets all those teepees there. And I'm going to hit done. And we back out, and you can see how it's cleaned those teeth up. And it might be just a bit much, but let's go to the uh, Y button. And we can see a before and an after. And you can see they, they've cleaned up quite a bit. Uh, so that's the uh, brush tool. And the, like I say, there's, in any of these brush tools, you can adjust all these different things from contrast to clarity to everything else and uh, really make a big effect. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's skip back to, uh, let me hit the Y button here. Boom, okay, Y button, let me hit done here. Uh, let's see, what else can I do to this picture? So, uh, it's a little dark on the sides here, which I, I did on purpose, but uh, let's see if we can lighten those up using the brush tool. So I can use the brush tool. I can go to, uh, I don't want teeth whitening. Let's just go to lighten. And I can just make that brush a little bit smaller. And we're just going to make it a little bit lighter on the edges here. A little bit lighter. And I've got the auto mask on. So the auto mask is actually finding this edge for me so I don't my brush doesn't come way over here it's just doing the side of his face is where I want it done and the uh, auto mask does that for me that's why I have that checked the auto mask okay let's hit done and that lightened it up just a little bit let's see uh, tell you what let me let me look at that again let me see how much I did it here let's go back to brushes you can just click on the dot that you use to do that with and that brightened it up a quarter of a stop. Let's go a little bit more just so you can. Well, yeah, let's just go half, half a stop. Done. And so that brightened it up a lot there. So those are uh, those are specific changes that you can do with the brush. Now you can do a lot in Lightroom. Uh, if you don't like, if you if you don't have the control here that you want. You can always right click the picture and you can edit in whatever. You know, I've got Photoshop CC, I've got Elements 12, which I like. It's easier for me to do text and stuff with in Elements 12 than it is Photoshop. Photoshop is a big, powerful tool, and, and for me, it gets confusing sometimes. So I, I don't use it a whole lot, but I do use it a little bit. Uh, let's see. And then I have all, a whole bunch of other stuff that I, that I can export it out into. To edit it in. So if you don't like what you can do in Lightroom, you can always go somewhere else, especially if you're more comfortable. So anyway, that was just a, a short thing on all the little corrections you can make. So there we can see a before and after headshot. Uh, okay, so that's before. That's before we really started. That's after the uh, crop, after we've already cropped everything. But that's a before. And an after, and I do like the after a whole lot better. We cleaned up his hair a little bit. Uh, you know, he's got a couple flyaways here that you could go and, and probably snatch out of there. But I like the way his, his face is showing, the way it's popping. Uh, I, I like the eyes popping that way. Uh, we cleaned his teeth up just a little bit, got rid of a couple of those little teenage blemishes, and uh, it's a pretty good photograph. So, uh, that's a little bit on specifics that you can do with Lightroom. Uh, all right, so this is the end of the develop module. I'm not going to do any more on develop module. There's lots of other stuff you can do to it. And there's tons and tons of videos out there to show you each little technique that you can do in Lightroom. Uh, but I was just doing a general generalization for beginners, what you can do, what you can look at. 
And uh, so there you have it. So that is the develop module. Uh, I don't think we have many modules left. I think the next big one will probably be the print module. And I'll go over it briefly uh, in the later blog. So this is Max from Max Dancer Photography saying so long and uh, keep shooting.